Okay, let's take a look at Quant. Is it a golden opportunity or a cautionary tale? Let's dive in into the latest updates and see what's going on with Quant. From the chart to the price, which is exactly at $100 right now. Welcome back to Crypto Crypto. Today, I've got some very, very exciting insights to share about Quant. I mean, is it a golden opportunity waiting to happen right now or should we exercise caution stick around to find out first off let's take a look at this you know the amount of quant available for purchase on the exchange is uh sitting near multi-year lows right now out around 7.5 percent you should remember that quant has a total supply of 14.8 million coins so what do you think will happen next? Let me know in the comment section below. In my personal opinion, uh, I think that a massive supply shock is very likely to occur for Quant. And the simple fact is there is just not enough Quant to go around, especially when you consider the new promoters use cases for this project. Plus, don't forget that, uh, that banks and institutions need to buy and hold Quant to use the over ledger platform which is really really huge i also want to remind you of uh, what you're holding because in my view i think this is a golden opportunity and uh, many folks might miss out on this so keep that in mind taking a look at some uh, price analysis right here on the chart i'll expand and see what's going on okay Let's see if we are gearing up for, for a massive rally anytime soon. So uh, before I continue, please remember to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter. And also, uh, anyway, let's just go straight. Um, this is the daily time frame, right? Uh, if we take a look right now, you know, this is on trading view. We can see something intriguing happening right now. I mean, the price action is getting squeezed between the, the down sloping trend line that's been holding since the, the ultimate high back in 2021. If I, if I just expand, you know. Yeah, all the way back there. We are sitting on this opening day line right there. That's what I'm talking about. I wanted to just uh, zoom out so you can see what I'm trying to say. That was the horizontal support, which is just around, I will say, $95. So uh, this squeezing pattern is, is really forming an apex right now. And the maximum duration within this range could extend until around October 10th, I'll say 2023. And at that point, I I anticipate a significant decision for quant whether it's towards the upside or the downside so um, if we break to the downside the next major support for quant will be around the golden pocket around the 0.618 Fibonacci level which is roughly around 77.9 dollars on the logarithmic stake scale so if we switch to the regular scale then we also have support at $80 right there. I'll just zoom so you can see. Yep. $80 just right there. And uh, I'll say that on the flip side, I'm just thinking out loud right here. If we break to the upside, the first area to break through is at the $112 right here. It's been... Uh, it's, yeah, we've tried that about twice on the 2nd of July and on the 29th of July. So we are coming back to test that $112. On the greater scale, we may also think about this $117 right there, just on the mark. You know, so this, this uh, daily candle close above these levels could open the door for higher price targets for quant in the near term. So now let's uh, let's hear something uh, to keep in mind. You know the Bollinger Bands, even though not uh, they are not right here, but uh, on the daily chart, 
it shows the range has been extremely narrow for quite some time. There's been low volatility like this. Uh, they often precede a massive price explosion. I mean, they are very much exciting times ahead. And talking about the RSI, you know, it's sitting around 41 right now, indicating a relatively neutral state. But I think there is uh, there is a bullish RSI divergence, while the price has been forming lower lows. Yep, you can tell lower lows right here. Um, the RSI is showing higher lows. We really suggest that the seller momentum is really slowing down right now so the stochastic rsi is forming this potential double bottom indicating the potential trend reversal and the macd indicator also shows moving average turning up which is uh, a bullish sign and the wave trend if we talk about that the wave trend indicator is displaying a bullish divergence with the higher low and the buy signal so all these indicators uh, point towards potential bullish momentum for quant that's what i'll say so uh, let's take a look at uh, i'll not go go into that but i think that quant right now is technically outperforming uh, bitcoin significantly started since june 2022 to october since then i think that it has underperformed and uh, recently it broke above a long-term resistance line suggesting a potential trend reversal and this could mean that quant will likely outperform bitcoin in the coming weeks so quant may i'll round this up by saying that quant is uh or it presents a golden opportunity right now and you should remember this isn't financial advice so do your own research keep a close eye on the critical price levels as we discussed so stay informed and if you found this video helpful make sure you drop a comment like and subscribe for for more updates um there is also i'll go to the quant twitter handle remember it's also got the 135,000 followers on twitter and the latest updates they don't tweet recent uh frequently but as of six hours ago Quant tweeted that they will be at uh, Sibos again to engage in the critical dialogue that pushes the industry forward. Then you have at the uh, Guardian, we'll be discussing our recent work on CBDCs for Bank of England. Yep, that's the level. So, as well as the vision for tokenized banking, that's where we are heading, right? It's nothing new. Yesterday, they tweeted that today we have made an enterprise-grade technology over Ledger available on Applications Builder Marketplace OutSystem Forge. So the move underpins our commitments to making blockchain technology simple. So lots of lots of stuff going on with Quant. So again, I do think it's a golden opportunity. That'll be it for today. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, I think this has been very exciting for Quant. So stay vigilant and trade wisely. I'll see you in the next Quant update. Bye.